The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. This is Ken Kerr, a market development agronomist for Pride Seeds covering South Central Ontario. I'd like to review the Pride Seeds 300 bushel initiative today, our high yield initiative in corn production that we launched in 2011. This is the second year of the project and so far we're about halfway through harvest and really our results in the three thousand really our results in the 300 bushel initiative this year reflect what we're seeing in corn harvest so far across the western part of the province. Overall yields are variable, responses have still been quite good, definitely the biggest response this year coming off of seven to nine weeks of drought, response to rainfall if you could get it was, was definitely key in searching for top yields in corn this year. I'm standing in a fairly good field of corn on the north side of Woodstock. This is a field that caught rain somewhere in early July that's actually in close proximity to my home and I was uh, I was observing that rain traveling to the south of my house there uh, at the time and uh, wishing it had traveled my way but fortunately it caught this field here and nice looking field of Pride Seeds corn here. It's a, it's a 2900 heat unit hybrid. As you can see visually it's ready for harvest so uh, hopefully the weather cooperates so we can get at it. But uh, the 300 bushel initiative this year testing the same key inputs which is additional seed population additional nitrogen rates or higher nitrogen rates and headline fungicide at the tassel stage and overall responses are exactly as you would expect in a drought year such as this a high stress year we're not seeing much of a response to added populations or added seed in the furrow very minor response there the nitrogen we're definitely seeing response to and that's no surprise in a dry year. Any corn agronomist will tell you that heading into a drought at that V8 to V10 stage you really need to be in good shape in terms of available nitrogen to that plant. So we're not surprised at all that we're seeing good responses there to the additional nitrogen applied to these fields. Headline fungicide, we're seeing response there and in all cases so far it is economic response however those responses aren't as big as what we've seen in 2011 where they ranged up in the in the area of 30 35 bushels this year that response has been more in the 6 to 15 bushel range so as i said we're about halfway through the project right now we still have more fields to evaluate and some very good ones to evaluate as well of course the overall goal of the project is to evaluate the grower's base production acre or his base production methods in a good solid consistent high yielding area to added inputs and a, and a real aggressive approach to crop management for more yielding corn and overall we're seeing that the economics are working out we're seeing as i said a little bit less response than 2011 but still economic response given the price of inputs and even if an average selling price for a bushel of corn was in the five to six dollar range we're still seeing an economic benefit to the producer. The big question is what's the big yield to date? Of course our goal is to harvest 10 acres in a whole field scenario of high yielding corn that's had all the inputs thrown at it and let's see what we can get and of course evaluate if it was economical for the grower to do so and proper agronomically. And thus far our yields range in the 190 to 255 bushel range. Obviously corresponds with rainfall. The high yield came out of the north of London area in western Perth County and that was an area that got a rain the last week of June and just set that crop uh, off to the races so to speak. And we harvested that the other night in an absolutely beautiful crop of corn. So really excited that we can push, uh, push a situation where where 200, 210 bushels all of a sudden becomes 230, 240. Uh, but we've also evaluated situations where 150, 160 became 180 or 190. So overall, we're on the right track. And we learned last year and we're relearning this year that the best areas of our fields and the best soils that we have, we're probably not managing hard enough for more yield, irregardless of the inputs you choose to use. I think our, our final learning or the final statement I'd like to make is that all those three inputs, the seed, the additional seed rates, the additional nitrogen rates, and then the fungicide, there's a definite dovetailing effect between those three. And going with one or the other, one of the three, maybe two of the three, there might not be that effect there, but there's a definite dovetailing of those three inputs where we're seeing some nice benefits on the farm.